and I will come back, and we will come back. This group will come back. Club Brewers were founded in 1891 and are known as the Blauzwar, simply meaning blue and black, but they're also known as the Bochrin, much like PSV, meaning farmers or peasants. Club Brewers has a couple of pronunciations, depends on what region you're in, because half of Belgium speak Flemish, like Dutch, and half speak French. So we're in the Flanders region, so we go for the Flemish spelling of Brugge, whereas the French side would call it Bruges. Club Rouge play at the 29,000 capacity Jan Bridal Stadium behind me and they share this stadium with the lesser known Bruges team, Circle Bruges. Because this is a shared ground, you can see all the blue and black hair for Club Rouge and then as soon as you come down to the other end you see the green and black for Circle Bruges. are well decorated with 18 leagues, 11 Belgian Cups and 17 Belgian Super Cups. And a fun fact about Club Rouge, they're the only Belgian side to ever play in the European Cup final back in 1978 when they lost to Liverpool. So about 15 minutes to kick off, we've just stepped foot in here and uh, the Antwerp fans are starting to fill up in the top corner. Players are warming up. Bruce Ultras are behind the goal down there. I think this is going to be a fiery contest. Both of these clubs absolutely hate each other, especially the fan bases. Antwerp known as the craziest Ultras in Belgium, so they're going to be making some noise. Score prediction, I'm going for a 3-2 Club Rouge win. Jump ahead of them and go second in the league. Belgium could be considered the forgotten league in Europe. Sandwiched between France, Germany and Holland. It often gets overlooked because such big leagues around it. But don't forget the calibre of players that this country produces. Arrighi, Lukaku, De Bruyne, Hazard. And don't forget, they're also ranked second in the world in FIFA World Rankings. So it is a shame that their league gets overlooked. One more pass. One more sprint. One more goal. Club Rouge couldn't be on a bigger high coming into this game. They've just qualified for the last 16 of the Champions League for the first time since we know it as the Champions League. And a win today will leapfrog them ahead of Antwerp and put them into second, back into the title race. It's uh, 1 0 here at half time. Simon Mignolet playing a blinder and goal. Um, Toby Alderweireld a bit sloppy at the back for Antwerp. It's been a bit of a sloppy game to be fair, but uh, 1 0, see what the second half brings.
Louis Alderweireld doing his interview there. Mignolet doing his here. Finished two all, a uh, bit of a bottle job, but uh, two late goals for Antwerp. Club Bruges took a 2 0 lead. Antwerp got a tap in and then a penalty that was never a penalty and finished two all. Look, total price of the trip 214 euro for flights, accommodation, and match ticket, which wasn't too bad. Um, disappointing that they lost. First draw of the series of the challenge so far in 12 games, first draw. Trip rating, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a 6.8. Like sometimes the atmosphere was a bit flat. Like they sang a level walk alone at the start and people weren't really singing it. And comparing that to Dortmund, Celtic and Liverpool, like where the hairs stand up on the back of your neck, it's it just didn't live up to it. Um Antwerp fans were mental. Um they they must have some sort of link to England because they had St George's cross flags and Uni Jack flags and all their chants were very like English style, like similar to what you'd hear in, in Premier League. Um, all, all their songs were in English as well. Um, yeah, so there, there must be some sort of link there. But um, yeah, it's finished two all, and uh, now it's time for a point with the Bruges locals.